Hello, everyone. Hey Welcome oh. to Super... Is it Arcade Bros? Super... I forget the name of the show as we do nowadays. It's Super it's, Arcade Bros. It's a Super yes. Arcade Bros, guys. <laughs> this is one of our favorites, the Simpsons Arcade Game. Yeah. This is available on the Xbox 360 and I believe the PlayStation 3 as well. Yep. PlayStation Network. It's available. Yeah. Uh, my name's Gerard, and filling in for uh, Alex this week is Mark. hey -o. Me so, again. <laughs> Um, I, just, I gotta watch this real quick. This is so good. Oh man, the Simpsons arc. This is nostalgia nirvana for me, sir. This, I played this so much back in the day when I was a kid. This is just every every bowling alley everywhere had this game. Uh, I believe most of them still do. It is the one of the coolest quarter quarter gobblers in the history of 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 quarter gobbling if you will <laughs> it's, it's it's kind of in the pantheon especially with uh, konami back in the day they were kind of the kings of the beam up genre with yeah. this and turtles in time um yeah it's pretty crazy how how they did this um so we can do graphics smooth or sharp i'm gonna say sharp um screen size timer we can hide wallpaper on yeah it's gonna be in four by three um yeah, it's a nice little feature that they put like the top uh, marquee for the arcade up on the top. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Uh, ooh, what's the cool stuff? A variety of special features, flashback, mm. characters, mute. Oh, I don't have any of this stuff yet. Okay, here we go. Ready to go, Mark? You ready I to play, man? I am ready. Do you, do you have any? Have you looked at any 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 fun facts about the game? Anything well, like that? Well, here's a fun fact. Sure. This, this is actually the very first Simpsons video game. The very first? I believe it is. It was made in 1991, and The Simpsons came out in uh, 89, I believe, is when it was first started. What so, about the NES games? Those came afterwards, too? I believe those came afterwards, yes. So Really? Okay. Oh, I'm getting going here. Ooh, there's even a what version of the ROM to play? Interesting. So, what happens if you change it? Japan? Okay. Go down to... Okay, so leave it USA. I'm um, going to... All players share a pool of 40 credits. Go left of it. What else we got? Each, Each player gets 10, 10 credits. Okay. Free Unlimited. play. Uh, survival. One credit, one life, no continues. Wow. Oh, wow. That's brutal. Um, go ahead and go. Let's go to team quarters. That's That seems fair. Sounds good. Um, what difficulty you want to do? You want to do expert just for fun? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. And get then killed. the opening stage. <laughs> All Great. right. All right. Go ahead and, and hit that button. There we go. Uh, I'll jump in. Um, who oh man, who could we be? So this is a four-player game. We couldn't get four people to play with us, unfortunately. Um, so I think I'm going to be Bart. Who should I be? Let's go with Marge. Sweet. Because I love being on people with the vacuum cleaner. That's great. <laughs> go hit that start button, Mark, for there us. There we go. Oh, the plot. Ooh. Whoa. Whee. Bam. <laughs> and there's your story. <laughs> Downtown Springfield. And it starts with the iconic uh, changing of the TV there. Of Absolutely. So, here we go. Like the sound effects is one of the things I it's, really yeah. adore from this game. Here we go. Oh, it's so great still after all these years. Unbelievable. It's kind of weird thinking that the show, again, it came out in 89, and this was made in 1991, so the show was still, like, pretty early on. And they had to come up with, I assume they had to come up with a lot of things to this game. It's like, now they're, they're like, so ingrained into our pop culture, but they had to, but they only worked with, like, two or three seasons with this, which is kind of interesting. You can kind of see how well fleshed out Konami had to go with when it came to, um, kind of launching everything out together, you know. Um, if you go to Universal Studios and you go on the Simpsons ride, um, you'll kind of be blown away with how much nostalgia is in that ride. And even just, like, the layout of the area when you're down there. Um, 
yeah, there's like everything's made to look up like uh, Simpsons, like the Simpsons uh, Springfield. Yeah. Um, what? Yeah, <laughs> team, team attack. You didn't know that? I, I forgot about that. Again, yeah, yeah. It's been a long time since I played this. Yeah, if we hang out next to one another, we we can team up. We do a special attack. But it's like one of those things where you have to like not move. It's kind of annoying, but it makes sense. Yep. So, question of the day: uh, favorite Simpsons memory? Uh, do you have any favorite episodes, favorite moments? Oh man, that's so hard. That's a tough one. I'm gonna say, not my favorite, but one that I'll never forget is uh, the one that had Michael Jackson on. You know, Le uh, Lisa, it's your birthday. Oh wow, that was happy birthday, Lisa. I heard that song. I didn't know it was him. That yeah, did that. it was Michael Jackson. There you go. Yeah, that was one of my favorite episodes. You know, I'm actually just starting to rewatch, or not even rewatch The Simpsons. I didn't watch as oh, much of it back boss in the day. So much. <laughs> I didn't watch as much as The Simpsons back in the day, but I'm revisiting it now, and it's amazing how much, like, you know, you really liked Bart back in the day when you were a kid, but now, now that He's... you're a lot older, you can appreciate episodes like um, Life in the Fast Lane and more of the stuff to, about Homer and Marge. Yeah, it's amazing how the show like really held up over time. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, I think it's the longest going TV show of all time. I think that's a safe, safe assumption, like in terms of definitely the most, anim like the longest animated show I think of all it's, time. I, th I think it holds the record for it. I'm not 100% sure. There's so many, so, so many um, seasons and, here, toss me. Oh. Quick. Do I do it? Oh no. Well, you're doing just fine without, oh no. Oh, there we go, we did it. Woo! Yay. Yeah. Da -na -na -na. <laughs> you darn hooligans. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus stage. Oh, hit oh, the buttons. Man. And ready? Go. Oh god. I don't remember what to do. I oh, Mark's you killing hit, me. Hit Mark is killing me. Mark. Oh, my hair might be a dis Yeah, ah. I did it. <laughs> This game's fixed. <laughs> <laughs> it was very close. It was close. Oh. Oh my car. <laughs> I, have, I have slowly become a meme on this Let's Play oh channel, and that's great. Car. Oh my car. <laughs> Everyone's been sending me that clip from that Disney show. Uh, there's a Disney show that references that. Uh, like I forget, I forget what the name of the show. Like, Gravity Falls, I believe. Really? Um, it references. It, it's it's referencing Street Fighter, but the original reference is Final Fight, I believe. Oh yeah, donuts and soda. Get the soda. Even like, even like a satchel. If you're listening, I remember you tweeting that at me the other day. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the teacups ride, obviously. Paying homage to uh, Disney, really any any kind of the concept of the tea of the tea ride teacups is like very very universal, I guess, at like theme parks. Come on, come on, smack! There we go. I would like to know who these random characters are. You know what I mean? It's a good question. Oh, it's like, oops, how do? Oh, there, sorry, that was my fault. I was trying to continue. I'm not sure. They, they just seem like generic henchmen. Uh, again, yeah. I'm not the biggest uh, Simpsons connoisseur. I'm not. They must be. They have to be. Let us know in the comments if they are. <laughs> oh, the odd job. Although odd job came after the fact. Mm -hmm. I love how all the characters are like superheroes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and just to think, Bartman. I don't think Bartman was created yet. Yeah, he must I'm not, not have been. I'm not 100% sure. Because the Bart's, Bart's Nightmare came out in 94, I believe, and that was well after that was already established. Um, this is the game that a lot of people thought was going to come out on the console. I remember um, a lot of friends at home were bummed when you could because you could not get to experience anywhere. Um, it yeah. just was not possible. There, there was an arcade port of it, I believe. I think there was like a Commodore 64 port and. But I've heard it's not the greatest, okay. so... I'd imagine that it wouldn't be. I mean, it's... You know what I mean? It's, like, not meant to be. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> this is... <clears throat> it's, like... It, it was so great that this got ported over to, uh... 
the 360 and uh, PS3, and it's like, and, and it was such a shame to me that what happened with Turtles in Time and how they did that remake. So it's like, you know, this this makes us happy. Just the original pure form of the game we grew up. That's all we need. You know, what? I think the, the unfortunate truth though is that money makes the world go around, and if you're not willing to pay for it, then you know what? Yeah, that's that's how it is. Yeah. That's true. Do, 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 do. Let's see if we can try the group attack really quick. Sure, yeah, just what hit. Do we do? Oh, there we go. Now you run around and you toss me. Oh, Actually, just, I think I do go. it. There we go. Woohoo! Oh, I'm, in, I'm go. invincible too when you do that, so it's nice. <clears throat> it's the cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, the balloon shaped enemy. One could say that this is a balloon fight. I will yuck, kill. Yuck, yuck. I will kill. I will. <laughs> Thank you for keeping the, the uh... <laughs> oh, don't worry. I, the I pun's alive, huh? I, I blow up like that, so... Oh, damn it, Mark. <laughs> damn you! Oh, Mark Carr. <clears throat> Smack it. Oh, nope. oh, where did we go? Okay, there we go. Here you go, I'm you're behind Ugh! Oh, man. You know what's funny? Um, maybe the maybe the port. This is the extreme version. You know what I mean? I feel like if this was the arcade, we would not be doing so well. Yeah, I remember the arcade being like a heck of a lot harder. We got through. We got through like the first couple of fights. Yeah, We're back in the fight. day, like getting there at the very beginning, like with the first boss battle, that would have like dumped maybe a dollar, or maybe two dollars, in the arcade. Here we're going by pretty quickly. It so. sucks because now being an arcade connoisseur owner myself. Uh, it bums me out knowing that you can just change the value of the quarters with the flick of a button. Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh, man. Discount cemetery. Alright, after this level, we'll call it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I think this. Uh, do we ever go to the cemetery in the first. I want to go back and, like, watch the first few seasons now after playing this. Yeah, it's like I've. And that's the thing, I've never watched a whole lot of The Simpsons I'm going back and re -watch well, not even re-watching, watching them for the first time. And again, it just completely holds up. I've got a feeling that there's something going to fall from right there. A lot of people don't like the first season of The Simpsons because it's very dry. So far, that's probably one of my favorite seasons so far. Well, the animation's also so. very different, too. Yeah, it's it's a bit crude, definitely, in comparison to the other seasons. Here. There you go. Throw me. Let's do this. Well, uh, this is really, well. I guess pick me up at least. Uh, come on. Oh, you, you just gotta not press anything. See, there you there go. There we go. And Ooh. toss me. Wow. Oh, that was a little unfortunate. The Gimli toss. <laughs> Throw me. Oh, oh, you're getting destroyed, Mark. Careful there. there. Oh, that was a horrible toss. So why Konami, you think? Because of the fact that they, there's been, they've just, the kings to beat them up at this time? You That's know? a good question. Um, I, I'm not sure if the first Turtles game came out a little before this? You can tell, like, interface-wise, it's very similar, you know, the, even the font's the exact same, you know? And in terms of, like, what Capcom was doing, like, Final Fight was, was their beat em up was well, their beat-em-up baby, so... And for Konami, it was this, and it was the Turtles, for the most part, so... Here we go. Ooh, here we go. Yeah, Take it's just like... Toss. Just really, really simple gameplay. It's highly, easily accessible to anyone. Like, I, I've gone to an arcade. There's a wonderful arcade in Chicago called Galloping Ghosts. Um... Like, the biggest selection of classic games I've ever seen. They have, like, Splatterhouse there. They have, like, all sorts of different versions of Mortal Kombat. Uh, and they have the Simpsons game. And when I was there, like, I've seen, like, couples come and play the Simpsons game quite a bit. So... I think the ability you can play as all four is really great. Yeah. I think that, you know... Well, this and X-Men. That's another one I forgot to mention. Oh, that's right. X-Men. I'm not doing so great right now, but whatever. I'm just kind of playing through it. I'm gonna love the Michael Jackson reference zombies. <laughs> Every now and then they just start dancing. 
Get out of here. Stop it. There you go. Oh. Get stop it. You have a better reach with the uh, vacuum. Oh. Oh, man. Ground zombies. Yeah, it's an equal opportunity, you know, zombies here. So. <laughs> equal opportunity. They're not even, like, race-based. They're just different color-toned zombies. <laughs> there we go. Oh, man. This is where we're really- I'm getting my butt handed to me a lot in this. Yeah, I forgot. Ew, here we go. Oh, we're going inside the crypt. There we go. Oh, he's at it. And you're dead. Oh, yes, the traditional Konami. We are in an elevator level. Try and true. There we go. Let's knock him off. Hug aside, and it's yours. So you're going on vacation very, very soon, I'm sir. on vacation technically already. Uh, <laughs> we talked about that I'm gone, but Alex actually, don't you guys remember, we are in an unfortunate situation of, of dog sitting right now, so that's why you're here, Mark. Yay! Um, but uh, I think when I'm, once Alex is back from his situation, I will be uh, officially gone during the week. And then, uh, we'll have some- I think Alex is just planning a bunch of guests to come on board. Um... Yeah, it's gonna be- it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be pretty exciting to figure out who's gonna come on, what games to play, so... Yeah, it'll be a good time. Oh, I just ate that one, too. Are we fighting bosses, or what is this? Oh, god. Oh! Fighting Bebop and Rocksteady, or I mean these guys. So. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Bebop and Rocksteady, basically. Come on. Now I oh man. Here we go. Oh. I feel like I'm not doing much to them. They just keep hitting me. Yeah, that's a, that's always the thing about beating them up bosses. It's like they know you're constantly pounding against them, and they have to figure out. Like the designers have to figure out some way for. The enemies um, to block you, or to like just flat out, flat, flat out ignore your attack. Yeah, pretty much. Nope. Come on, there we go. Oh, you're yep. just getting thwarted left and right right now. He's just jumping right between us. There we go. There we go. Making it happen. Making it happen. Wow. Now is that a level clear? Most tavern. There we go. All right, level clear. Most, All right, guys. Most tavern conveniently located under this crypt. Because why not? <laughs> <laughs> Secret entrance into most tavern. All right, guys. Well, this has been uh, Super Arcade Bros with Mark Carr, hey. Indie Game Searchlight. Mark, thanks for being here, man. Hey, no problem. Thanks for having me. This yeah, was, yeah. This is really fun. We'll see you guys on, on Friday with more uh, Super Indie Bros. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And my hair is great. Thanks for asking, Marge. Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> well, until next time. Later, man. Later, man.